<laughs> I think it's the fact that we're at the kitchen table. <laughs> I'm at the head of the table <laughs> as a man what? of the house. Oh, yes, of course, sir. you as yes, a sir. good high value woman <laughs> sitting to my right. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you stated S- it that sh- way. Sh- <laughs> seen, <laughs> seen, not heard, ma'am. <laughs> Hey, let's find out already. Shit. I'm Javi Luna, husband, father, and oh yeah, stand-up comedian. I've been fortunate enough to spend over a decade traveling the country, making audiences laugh. But my favorite audience is the one right here at home in Corpus Christi, Texas. My wife and co-host, Jen. Once a week, we sit down and have a chat. There's other podcasts like this, but this one's mine. And that makes it original. We are back. Mrs. Luna's back. I'm how back. You, how you doing, ma'am? I'm good. Welcome with your with your headphones and <laughs> and everything. She was like, she's like, oh, why do I have my headphones? I'm like you have them on in every episode, <laughs> ma'am. These people are worried about you. They're oh, like, no. why why doesn't he buy her some <laughs> some AirPods? I don't like them just hanging in your ear like that. I think it's weird. You don't like the Q-tip, the Q-tip look? No. Like, I'm just saying, baby, people, people, the streets be talking, YouTube be talking. <laughs> oh, yeah? They're like, goddamn, we need to get Javi a Kickstarter, fucking Patreon or something, because oh. he ain't got no fucking AirPod money. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> You know, we fucking we, we don't have enough status symbols. You know, that, okay, that's what I'm saying. That, like, that's the problem. You know how it's the same people that, that think like fucking that uh, anyone that doesn't have an iPhone is broke. Oh, yeah. For some reason, yeah, it's, it's dumb. Just, it's all like uh, all phones are expensive, bro. Exactly, all fucking phones are expensive. I, but I I did see a uh, a meme mm-hmm. on the on the book in El Face. Oh, uh-huh. uh huh. The the other day that that finally did explain. It. People associate, think that all Androids are created equal. Android is literally just a software mm-hmm. that ta- that very similar. Think of it like like Windows, even though it has nothing to do with the company of, of Windows, but just Mac software, iOS is only on Apple devices, right? Right. Versus Windows, you can have it on on all sorts of different kinds mm-hmm. of. Devices. Of devices, you can have it on a Toshiba laptop, on an HP laptop, on a yeah. Dell, on a. Do they still have Gateway? Oh, remember I don't know. Gate, remember yes. Gateway back in the yes. day? Gateway was Dell before Dell was Dell. What? Gateway, Gateway was the Gateway was the computer that everybody everybody had. Like yes. that, that was the first like oh get get a gateway, gateway. get yeah, a gateway because yeah, yeah. you used to be able to call the eight hundred number mm-hmm. and they put you on a little payment plan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, to shoot, get the we had a gateway. Yeah, it was a gateway drug. That's how that's how get, everyone got hooked. Heck yeah, man! Because before then you had to like go, you know, you had to go buy an IBM and all those shit. Was so gateway was the first I think like truly affordable home PC. I didn't have one. I had a Dell. Okay. Dell was my first home computer. Uh but but very similar to that, Android is the same way. There's different cell phone manufacturers and they all use Android because it's not locked to the device like iOS is. Right. Right. So while there are very shitty Android phones, like the what the what's the one? Uh the Kawaii. There's like Oh my or, god, I've or, never even heard of that. Kia Sarah. I don't <laughs> Wow. You know, you know the the, the these off brands, the ones that you get at like Cricket mm-hmm. or or Boost Mobile mm-hmm. or whatever, but then there's also top of the line Android phones, which are higher quality, like like your Samsung, Samsung devices yeah. and whatever. So anyway, yeah. she doesn't like the AirPods, okay? I, that's, but yeah. I was like, no, you wear them. Let them know it's a <laughs> it's a thing now. It is a thing now. People yeah. come to expect it. <laughs> we're a hundred and fifty. I don't know, four episodes. Something happened. I realized posting last week's episode that the second part to our two-part episode never posted. Oh, no. I don't know what happened. I don't know when I'll have time to go back and figure it out. <laughs> maybe it'll come out. So maybe someday, years from now, 
<laughs> the last It'll tape. be the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> the resurfaces. <laughs> you think you if you if you think you're an OG podcast fan, <laughs> you, you heard it all. Not like this. <laughs> Listen to this, Jim. <laughs> Jim. And it, except it's a except it's a second part to a total part episode. <laughs> so no one's gonna remember what the, what first, the first part, part of the conversation was. was. <laughs> She's like, what? He's doing what? They went camping? They're going camping? <laughs> Oh, that's funny! I didn't know it didn't get posted. Yeah, I, I I thought I had I thought I had uploaded it all before we went on the camping trip. Uh huh. You know because because that 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 was the whole reason we did it because we knew that that week it was going to be leading crazy. up to the camping trip is always uh very hectic. Very hectic. For yes. Us. So so we knew that and it so I I I thought I thought. Man, let's record this one hour podcast. Mm-hmm. I cut it up into two pieces. I thought I was taking a, a book out of the a page out of the, uh, the what did he said uh-huh. podcast because that's what we do. We record one hour episodes and then we just cut them up. Nice twice, and and, and and it's nice. I'm not gonna start doing that here on the regular, but it's nice to know that that's an option. That's, that's an option, yeah. Every now and then, hey, let's just record one long conversation and and cut it up into, into two. two episodes. Definitely, you know. You know uh, but like I said, we won't do that to you too 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 often. But that was the whole idea. Because I knew I, you know, I was gonna be working right up until the last minute, mm-hmm. trying to make as much money as I could before that long vacation. Right. Right. And uh, and I could have sworn that I left it uploaded to come out Wednesday morning, and then I never went and looked. Check. I just took it for granted that but it was that there. technology worked the way <laughs> that it was supposed to, and never, uh, and and it and it didn't, you know. Aww. So so. Sorry, I don't like to say. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe one week down the line when we feel like taking a week off, maybe I'll Dope. I'll go figure out what happened and and, <laughs> and, and put it up properly. <laughs> uh, by the way, thank y'all for those that did uh, watch last week's episode, Sans Mrs. Luna. Yeah. Uh, thank y'all for 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 bearing with me Hi. for thirty minutes. I heard it was good. Solo. Well, it was people. Some people they, they liked it. I heard y'all y'all liked the new at the at the dining room table. Set up. Yeah, I'm not uh, sure how with, I with feel the, about it yet. Sound. But... It's just a single camera. I'm hoping it'll be a little less editing for me. A little less. Yeah, it's not so much that the editing is more. It's just the, the laptop has to work harder to do the editing. It yeah. takes so it takes me longer. Yada yada yada. I'm not gonna bore you with the details, <laughs> but we're gonna see if we can streamline this so that we can, you know, start being. Well, we've been pretty consistent. Yeah, we've been consistent. Inconsistence. Uh, not not the not the word, but mm-hmm. uh. But yeah, so so we're trying it out. This is my yeah, first time it trying it with you. Different, like well, I'm feel awkward. Change is different. Yes, and cha- <laughs> that, change is good. All, all repetitive. <laughs> <laughs> so change is different. Yeah, they they mean the same. They literally Hence the word mean, change. Mean the same word. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, every when when things new, it feels different. You just got to fill it out. I don't know. We'll all see. Right. I'm digging it so far. Hey. I like being closer to you. You, you don't know. And, you don't know if you like it till you try. I mean, you some know, guy so, told me that once. So it's, a, it's a, it's a, it's a motto. That's how I got out of the friend zone. <laughs> it sure is, guys. By the way, <laughs> hey, I'm speaking to the. I was told you know you gotta. I gotta get them. You know the them them sad sap incels. Oh listening. yeah, yeah. Because that's how you do it, man. Oh okay. You know that's my problem. That's I. I figured out. You know that's my that's my problem. I haven't. You know, I I I, I, I like everybody. Okay. You know, and I, I got to pick someone to hate. I don't have, <laughs> so y'all tell me, who should I hate on this podcast? I don't want to hate anybody. No, and we got to, we got to dive in. Like, like, cause, cause they were like, man, if you want to sell tickets, you, 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 you gotta, you know, hit that, uh, uh oh, that, 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 that the, angry, the, the, the angry males, oh, the angry men. Okay. Because these women today, women are not the same. Oh, hold on, bro. Women. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, bro. Let and they me get don't. Situated. They don't respect the uh-huh. high value man. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and there's no high value women. All right. I'm wait, just, wait, 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 wait. There's no high value women. No, because loose morals, <laughs> and they just want to be. <laughs> Even my watch disagrees. <laughs> they just want to be on Instagram. <laughs> Showing off all the all the goodies oh. on the Instagram, getting likes, getting attention from other men. 
All right. Wow. Okay. And, uh-huh. and, and they don't want to talk to you. They don't want to <laughs> talk to you. You poor, poor man. They don't. They don't <laughs> like you just because you don't. You don't whatever. You can't fly them out, or you don't got a boat. No. You know. And, and but you're a hardworking, good <laughs> Christian man. And and and, and shame on them. <laughs> Shame. 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 Shame on all you loose moral <laughs> women. <laughs> okay? For not giving these guys a chance. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> wow. I cried so much on that one. <laughs> My word. Oh, really? Yeah, so, we so, now, all, so now all these good, hardworking American uh-huh. cargo short wearing men, <laughs> have, they have to go oh. to the Philippines uh-huh. or to Thailand wow. to find themselves a good, subservient <laughs> Proverbs woman. All right. Uh huh. And so, so, so that, so I don't, uh, you know. Uh huh. We said change, huh? It's it's the kitchen table. I think <laughs> I think that's what it is. I think it's the fact that we're at the kitchen table. I'm at the head of the table as a man what? of the house. Oh yes, of course. Sir. You as yes, a good high value woman <laughs> sitting to my right. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you stated it that way. Seen, seen, not heard, ma'am. <laughs> He's a scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh huh. Yeah. What else? No. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, this is one joke I'm not willing to take all the way. I, I'm only going to take it so far. <laughs> I think. Uh, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, was, that was good. 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 That was a good end. That's a good good oh. into the bit no but uh but no, no, I was joking. I was gonna tell you the story of, uh-huh. I don't think how I, I, I a little it. bit how um for people that that, that have a podcast <laughs> and are on social we're pretty private people I don't know that we've ever shared, shared that that uh, I am a I am a friend zone survivor yes I was I was I was deep deep in the friend zone like yes, like we, we we just kind of hung out you know mm-hmm. as friends associated through through, through other friends through, through other friends mm-hmm. whatever and, and um and to the point when i became interested in and it was a two-way street mm-hmm. for a long time and but but i of course peaked interest mm-hmm. first i uh, started to see her in a different light mm-hmm. and uh and and then she, you were like oh i don't know like because yeah. then like like then we can't hang if it doesn't work yes, out then we can't, can't hang, hang out, out anymore like I'm your one concerns of those, like, were like, yeah. like legitimate you're like you know it, if it, it doesn't work i'm done it doesn't like, work out then then yeah i can't go to the comedy shows anymore yeah. you, you know it was gonna really it was a affect risk. things it was a it was a risk and i, and I respected that mm-hmm. and i try not to be too too pressury yeah, or no, anything about weren't. it but 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 i felt like the chemistry that we did have at that time i was like i think it i think we would um be doing each other deserve ourselves a disservice Mm -hmm. not to at least uh see if there's something something here yeah right like beauty and the beast there's something (laughs) there that wasn't there before (laughs) you know I was the beast, of course. I was gonna say who's who. And I was the big guy. And the bit's <laughs> over. The bit's over, girl. I was the beast. You were, you were Belle, of course. And, and and you know, so 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 yeah. So that that's kind of become yep. a, a a motto. Like it so, has. So sometimes you, some things you ha- you have to just go and find out. Just have to see for yourself. You have to give it a chance. So 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 my message to you, you underappreciated <laughs> men out there, angry men. <laughs> men it, it is is if you can't find a woman, she's out there. The right one will show up when she's supposed to show up. All right, there you go. There that's you go. sweet. I'm gonna tie a little bow on it. Aww, tie a that little was bow sweet. on it, and uh, and, and maybe just, just I don't know. Try and be not so pissed off at a whole <laughs> at a whole gender. 
yeah, maybe, maybe maybe think of women uh, as uh, individuals. I yes. don't know. Uh, the same way that you should t- think of everybody. Everybody, yeah. yes. <clears throat> we should not generalize. Right. We are unique. That that's the problem. We don't do enough generalizing here mm-hmm. on this podcast. I, I, I feel like like that. Because I feel like everybody just gets on social media. Mm-hmm. And here I am generalizing about people that get on social media. <laughs> but getting, we don't do that here. Right. But <laughs> but I feel like a, a large part of what happens a lot of times mm-hmm. is that people want to speak in absolutes. They want to speak yes. in, in blanket statements 100%. and generalizations of just all these people think this way or all mm-hmm. these people do this way. And, uh, every girl, and, and every I don't boy. think they realize like how many people they're talking about like this is a great big blue world mm-hmm. uh whether you believe it's flat or not uh, it's up, <laughs> up to you yes. but there's over seven billion people on the planet that's a lot of people lot and of each people. one of those seven billion people have a very unique life experience no mm-hmm. two people have had the exact same life there, there might be a lot of similarities across the board but no one's ever lived the exact same life as right. anybody else therefore it's really hard even if even people that grew up in a certain environment or a certain culture or whatever they still within that culture within that environment have their own life experiences mm-hmm. that, that and so so it's it's really hard to really with any kind of real confident say that 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 everybody acts this way or everybody does this things or... that way right you know so you know don't babe Shh. message bitch nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's called sonder by the way look it up it, it, it's just the self-awareness that, yeah. that, that that everyone around you has is coming from their own, their own. Uh, point of view exactly and, and sh- get some <laughs> Get, sure. get 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 Sonder. Got it or got got Sonder. Like got Mel. Got, got Sonder. Got Sonder. I like. It. All right. I... Uh, we're recording in the middle of the day. I'm yes. kind of trying to decide if 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 we need to pause. If, if we need to pause or not. Because she, she's getting she louder. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna Let take go a check. quick uh, little break here. And we're back. <laughs> Literally. Like I said, trying to record during during the day. Yes. So. Even this creates a different vibe in it the does. in the in the studio. It is here, like I'm drinking right? coffee instead of my usual water. Like it's a different right. No alcoholic beverages. We still got shit to do after yeah. this. D- dinners in the in the Instapot right now. Uh, what are we de- having de- by the way? De- releasing a little arroz con pollo. <gasps> I was hoping you. Is that were what you making? wanted? You see yes. that? See that? See that? Get out the friend zone. Cook, cook for it. Yes. yes. High value men. I'm showing my high value here. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yes, Ma- sir. Yes, him. sir. That's right. it, it's a it's an Instapot version of, of my favorite meal because, because like I said, I got stuff to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, summer is is wrapped up. It's done. Uh, can I say this in the <laughs> nicest sure. way? <laughs> yes. I'm so I'm so so ready for summer to be over, and I know that's a weird statement because uh-huh. most people are like, "Oh, summer!" It it, it, it it's not a relaxing time. For, not at all for me like like you know like there's a little bit of a slowdown when we go to the river mm-hmm. right and, and and even even beforehand even before we took the river trip i think i mentioned it to you this year and i'm gonna say it every year from now on because it ended up being the opposite because i told you i was like because i was starting to say oh man can't wait for this trip can't wait for this trip to relax because i was like go going going so busy leading up to the trip and i, I I caught myself saying, "Man, I can't, I, I can't wait for this vacation." And I was, and I'm very big on managing expectations. Absolutely. Right? So I wasn't saying it in a negative way. I was, but I told myself, and I told you, I need to do a better job of managing my expectations because I know that for me, that river trip typically is not a relaxing experience. It's beautiful. I love the memories that we make. I have, I have fun, but, re- but. To put it in the relaxing column, it doesn't ever really check that box because when I'm out there, I'm concerned with is everyone else ha- are the kids good? Is everyone else having a good time? Are we, did we did, did we remember to take pictures? Did we bring everything down we need from the cabin? Oh, what do, I may, it's my turn to make dinner tonight. What time? What time? You know, what time do I need to get out of the water to go start the pit? Like there's always you know the 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 kids 
you know, they want to do more. We're on vacation. Right. They want to, let's go to the pool. Let's go. And I try to do whatever it is they want to do with them. So so it's not re- never really just a moment of like pausing right. for me. And right. Rest. Like I said, it's a beautiful experience. It's a great experience. I'd say. But I was looking at it like, man, I can't wait to get out there and relax. And I had to manage that expectation of like, hey, you're still a father of some very young kids. <laughs> this might not be a relaxing <laughs> vacation for you. So I feel like when you're a parent of, of young kids, mm-hmm. you know, and, and don't come at me. I know not everyone can afford this. If you can, I feel like it's important to have two vacations, mm-hmm. the family vacation mm-hmm. and then the, the adult vacation. One Even if it's just a... A single night getaway because 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 yes. as a parent of young kids, vacations are not relaxing for it. family not. vacations are not relaxing. And I used to have an old bit about it, and I'm thinking about now revisiting it. Yeah, yeah, because because and, and and I'll burn it here because for the 50 people that listen to this across <laughs> multiple platforms, um, the joke was that is about going on family vacations. The 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 term is very misleading. Right to say family vacation because mm-hmm. it's not relaxing at all. But when you hear the word, it sounds great because it sounds like you get to take a vacation from your family. <laughs> like, it's my family vacation, <laughs> you know. And I, so I feel like we need to remarket that. Like, <laughs> and, and I think that's important. I think we would see the d- divorce rates go down a lot mm-hmm. if if that became a thing. Like if people got to take family vacations, vacations from their family, you know, like just whatever one week out of the year. Yeah. You know, you just see Bill out at the strip club, mm-hmm. wilding out, mm-hmm. doing some coke. Wow. Off some strippers' booties. He's like really wilding out. You know, no, I'm saying like, go for it, you know. <laughs> and you might run into Bill and you say, Bill, what are you doing, man? You got a, you got a family. <laughs> You got you got a wife, kids at home. You got a good job. Wait, 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 hold on, man. I'm on family vacation. Oh, my bad. I didn't know you were on family vacation. <laughs> Proceed. Oh gosh, Bill. <laughs> get, get, get your freak on. Let, you know what I'm saying? Do, do do you, Bill? This this is your moment. Shine. 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 And, or Trisha. Or whatever, whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Bill's wife might be named. I see Bill being named to a Trisha. I don't know. Bill, Bill and Trish. Bill and Trish. Right. Yeah, Bill yeah. and Trish. Yeah. So does she have to go where Bill goes? Or no, she no. Goes? She Trisha gets her, her own, own. Yeah. Her yeah. own, whatever she wants to, mm-hmm. to go do. You know. But I feel like I feel like, mm-hmm. and and this could be a generalization. Okay. But just just I should say this. I feel like like as far as I'm aware of it. I think women are better at at scheduling their self time uh, better than men. At, at least now that because they're, they're they're more aware of it. Like like they 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 realize that they they need do need to take that time. They need to have those girls' night outs mm-hmm. or, or 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 whatever. So they they will do a girls' weekend or away or whatever. Uh, or maybe it's just me because I never had a big like. A wolf pack mm-hmm. to be like, oh yeah, we're going to I don't know, Go like, to Vegas. Can I say this? The idea of traveling with a bunch of dudes no. does not appeal to me. Like I like being on the road with the homies, but even then, like we're working, we're yeah. we're not out there like, like like when I Uber drive and I pick up a group of guys, I'm like, so yeah, y'all yeah, just gonna get go get drunk together mm-hmm. and and do what <laughs> like. Get, um, you did that, I'm sure, with your buddies. Um, no, not really, not really. I mean, we would do parties and stuff. I guess that that was that was different. But I definitely don't see traveling with with no I, traveling yeah. traveling for for like tourism with guys is, is doesn't seem like fun to me. <laughs> like a boys trip uh-huh. to Vegas. Uh huh. Nah, nah, no, no, nah, that's not my style. You know. I'm gonna go whatever. on the girls' trip to Vegas, you know, but I do, but I do, I do believe in family vacation. Whatever, I think mine would be a a, a, a golfing. Tri- I guess you, could, I, I could take a disc golfing trip. Oh. I should probably play in Waco. I'm going to Dallas this weekend. I won't have time to play. I'm going to Fort Worth this weekend. Yes, I was gonna say Dallas. I'm going to Fort. I I forget, I forget that they're not exactly next to each other. No. Right. So 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 that that was that's been a task in in promoting this show, right? Yes. Because I feel like whatever small fan base i do have up there 
most people live in Dallas, mm-hmm. right? So Fort Worth, I'm going up there completely blind. I've never done that market ever. Mm-hmm. Now that I realize it, not even with, with Chingo. I think we've always, I've ever done Addison and Arlington with him. In fact, okay. I'm going to be Arl- in Arlington with him in two weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to be in the DFW area two weeks in a row. Catch me if you can. <laughs> uh, so, so the Fort Worth market. So, so it's this weekend. It's Saturday, July twenty second. If you're in Fort Worth or you know people in Fort Worth, uh, we're, we're I'm just trying to make a good showing mm-hmm. out there and, and and fill as many seats as I can. Absolutely. So, so that it so that it looks good for the club. Uh, even though uh, you know I'm coming in as an outside promoter for it, uh, so they don't really care so much. Mm-hmm. Right, but if I but if I can make a good showing, then maybe down the line they consider like, oh, maybe we put them in the in the, the main rotation. room next time, yeah. you know, or let, 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 let's see what see what he can do on a, you know, in the main room on a weekend, you know, give him a couple nights, you know, yeah. to to see what he can do. Absolutely. You know, uh, so, so so fill those seats. So right, right. So I don't think it looks bad <clears> on me <throat> if I don't. They like they don't care any whatever. But but I would like to make a good first impression in the first time out there so if i can fill half the room man i'll, I'll be i'll be happy Definitely. So, so so if you if you can just help spread the word if you know anyone in the fort worth weatherford denton area anything immediately around there fort worth i'm going to be at hyenas comedy club that's going to be this saturday july 22nd i'm um, also in pearsall yeah uh come out to that it's a smaller town so i don't know if you know anybody in pearsall but if you do tell them to come out i'm going to be there at the full moon saloon uh, no relation, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So. <laughs> I'm so. excited for you. Yeah, and then of course Addison, uh, uh, sorry Arlington Improv with Jingle Bling, the uh, 28th, 29th, and 30th. Uh, I will be in Portland, Texas at the North Shore Country Club. Woo. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> then thought that you'll be like, "Oh, are you the new bus boy?" No, I'm here to do jokes. Oh, shit, all right. Uh, going, going, going to be over there with the with with, with them Portland folk. Uh, I, I, yeah, I lived there for like three months back in two thousand six, man. I'm, I'm, I'm practically, You're practically practically one of you. I'm practically oh, part of the family. All right, uh, I used to go uh, uh, hit the driving uh, the driving range out there because it was open to the public. You nice. Know, remember, uh, so. Um, so yeah, back in back in the day, this was twenty years ago. <laughs> yeah. He golfed. This is 20, 20, 20, 20 years and sixty pounds ago. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I could move a little bit better right back then. Um, I know nothing about golf, so I would say, like, what was your? Oh, I wasn't score? scratch or, or nothing. No. Like I didn't play any, anything ser- serious, serious. Like I wouldn't go out and, you know, I I stopped playing seriously when I was in middle school. Okay. And then I revisited it a little bit in college and whatever. But I had already put on too much weight to mm-hmm. to, to really be able to to enjoy it. Yeah. 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 Cool. But uh, but gonna be out there at North Shore Country Club, mm-hmm. uh, August nineteenth, uh, Bass Trap, Texas. Uh, third or fourth time going there, yes. sold out every time. Hope let, let's do it. Let's make it four in a row, baby. They yeah. lo- the 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 club loves having me out there. I love going out there. It's always a fun time. And then uh, go, going into September, of course, the uh, the September fifteenth, sixteenth, and seventeenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, and eighteenth. One of one of those. Uh, look up on chingobling dot com. <laughs> I will be back at the Denver Improv. <laughs> In Denver, Colorado for September and then going back to uh, Colorado uh, the 27th, 29th, and 30th to headline the Batos Locos Comedy Festival. Nice. Excited about that. Three different cities there in the Denver area. Uh, three shows, three three chances to, to catch me and get my shine on. Denver has only once ever seen my full show. Last year, I did a Wednesday night mm-hmm. uh, before the run with Chingo. Uh-huh. It was almost a, I think it was a year ago this week. Oh wow! Uh, and um, so this, so other than that, this is gonna be their first time really getting a chance to see my headlining set. So so even if you see me a couple weeks before at with Chingo at at the Improv. I'm only on those shows doing about 20, 25 minutes. Uh, come see me do the uh, the other 35 to 40 minutes yeah. of material that I do on stage and, and uh, bring some some bring some friends. Some friends out, yeah. 
<coughs> um, did you have anything? I did for me this week. Yes. Okay. Oh, I've or been two prepared. Weeks, you've, you have. You should have multiple. Weeks I do. Of, my eyes are watering here. I don't know what. You what got I have that in my cough. Eye. I actually had four. Like I've been prepared. I was ready. <clears throat> been doing her homework, Miss Luna. Yes, because I right. know I'm gonna be busy the next All few right. weeks. What you got for me? A man drunk texts South Carolina Aquarium's education number and get got some decent questions. You ready? The South Carolina Aquarium on Monday shared screenshots of messages sent to ask an aquarium educator number from a slightly inebriated but curious man. Okay. Uh, the man was currently at the corner of Market and Meeting Streets, and he asked the educator what that spot would have looked like. Sorry, I lost my place. 10,000 years ago before the area was settled by humans. <laughs> and why do you think the aquarium would know this? Oh, it gets better. Okay. He then asked the area, uh, asked when the area was first, uh, sorry, settled by humans. He also asked about marine qualities unique to low country. Switching gears, the man became a bit more philosophical, asking on what subjects do marine biologists disagree? Followed by, there must be things generally agreed upon, but what theories are currently being debated? The megalodon. <laughs> <laughs> As I, I don't even know, really know what that is. But. I don't know either. Oh, yeah. You got me. His stream of consciousness then takes him to why do seahorses grab anything they can with their prehensile tail? And why should I only eat oysters in months that contain the letter R? What? <laughs> I didn't even know that's a thing. Uh huh. It is. What months don't, so don't eat them during the summer? Uh huh. Not May. Not May. April's okay. March is uh -huh. okay. February, January. So, so May, May, June, and July. Uh -huh. I don't think it has anything to do with the letter of the months. I think it has to do with those are the hottest times of the year. It's harder mm. to exactly. keep them fresh. Exactly. That's my guess. Is no, that the answer? It, it's part of it, yes. Okay. Well, so uh, they actually responded to him. They answered all his they questions? They answered his questions. All of them? Ready? Including the, what does this look like? Yes. Okay. He says, hi, thank you for all of your questions. 10,000 years ago, South Carolina would have seen the end of the ice age with a, and then that screenshot cut off. So it, it didn't finish. But then, so something when it stinked. There's also debate surrounding the purpose of keeled scales on snakes and many, many more. So okay. that was one of their responses. Seahorses like to use their tails to hold on because they aren't very good swimmers and they may get tossed around in currents if they aren't holding on. Yeah, there, I did learn this from our own trip to the uh, uh, aquarium. Uh, our son, our oldest son, mm -hmm. uh, is very interested in marine, in marine biology. Yes. And he was explaining to me their, their uh, mono fin. Oh, I have no or, idea. Or they only have one fin. Uh, basically, it, it's like not have like if you ever met somebody that doesn't have their pinky toe or doesn't have their big toe. Oh no! And, and yeah, but yeah, yeah. The, I a, can a imagine. Toe amputee, they're off balance. They have to shove their yeah. foot. So that's why they're 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 unstable. They can't they can't really balance themselves. That's why they're always teetering and tottering oh, like that. I had no idea. Yeah, so so it makes sense. They have to they have to grab on. I mean, uh -huh. My eyes are. I see. Do we need to break? We're I'm, I'm almost no, done. No, it's okay. We're almost. Okay. Um, as for the oysters, this rule comes from the fact that bacteria that is harmful to humans is more likely to be present during the warmer seasons that do not end in with the R. Yeah. Yeah. So it has to do with, with water and why. And waiting for the months that end with the R also allows for baby oysters to reach their appropriate size and for populations to recover before harvest. There you go. Someone's going to screenshot. Screenshot. He's yeah, crying. I'll be, the, I'll be on the podcast crying He's again. He's crying God again. Yeah. Aww. She hit me, guys. <laughs> Babe, that's not even funny. <laughs> Cause, cause, that's why she made me cut it off. <laughs> oh, it's Lindsay. It's Lindsay. She's like, Say that, say that high value shit again. Say it again. Say it. That's not even funny, babe. <laughs> anyway, the guy says, thank you so much for all your answers. My wife should be happy that I drunk Tex Aquariums and not other women. And they responded back, of course, thank you for all your fun questions. Your wife is turtly lucky lady. Wow. <laughs> all right. And with that, 
<laughs> We're out. I'm going to go fucking find out what's going on with my eyes here, guys. Y'all have a great, great week. Thank y'all for bearing with us. And we hope you enjoyed the episode as much as we enjoyed it. And we'll see y'all next week. One love. Bye.